Hey everyone, Shabby Gamer here and welcome back to another random match here on WWE 2K17. Now this one is going to be Brock Lesnar taking on AJ Styles and it has been suggested by... I'm going to say it's random. It could be Randome or Randome. I'm not sure. It's basically random with an E on the end. So thank you very much for your suggestion. I'm going to say it's random. Uh, let me know if I'm wrong on the comment section below and uh, I'll try and uh, try and fix it somehow. Um, but yeah, it's pretty, I'm looking forward to this one actually. I think Lesnar versus Styles is a very good clash of two... Styles and it would be a really, really good match. And of course, I have done it at WrestleMania because, come on, Lesnar versus Styles. It'd have to be at WrestleMania, wouldn't it? Um, I, I don't even know. I think... I think Styles would have a good chance of going over Lesnar. I don't, think, I don't think there's a lot of people that would have a good chance of going over Lesnar. But I think Styles, um, he's really being pushed at the moment. And I think they realise what they've got themselves is something really, really special. And it would be good to see if they would give Styles that chance, basically. I hope they would. I think Styles is a really, really good name. Well, I, I didn't think they would give Styles the push they've given him now. They've given him the championship. He's uh, defeated, he's pinned Cena clean twice. Um, he's pinned Ambrose clean a few times as well. I was a little bit worried after he didn't get put over Jericho at WrestleMania. I thought him going over Jericho at WrestleMania was inevitable, but Jericho got the win. I was really surprised by that. Um, but since then, he seems to have gone from strength to strength. Of course, now he's lost Gallows and Anderson, which means he has been able to go off on his own and show what he can do and get some clean heel wins. He had some dodgy wins as well, don't be wrong, the low blow against Ambrose and stuff like that. But still, the fact that he's been put over these guys really shows that WWE do feel that he could be a name to really help push them forward. And he, well, he's the he's the champion of SmackDown, and currently SmackDown is quite well um, consistently out there in the ratings. So, I will say... ...is in our random match series so far. And, well, you can tell why it's AJ Styles. Of course, he's going to be the most suggested guy, isn't he, really? He's a top-class competitor. Uh, alongside, obviously, Nakamura and Finn Balor. We've seen a few Lesnar matches as well. Um, I've got one more for you coming up today, which is a little bit more outside the box from Zach. So, um, yeah, that'll be coming up today as well. But I'm looking forward to this one. Like I said, I think this could really go either way, this one. Especially since both these guys are pretty close as well, actually. I think Styles is rated about an 89 or a 90. And actually, no, Styles are rated at an 89. And um, and Lesnar is rated at a 95. So, might not be as close as I initially thought, thinking about it. And there he is. The phenomenal one. This is going to be an interesting match. Well, this one could really go either way. The bell goes and we are underway. And so far, Lesnar starting things off very, very strongly with those big German suplex. Or the big suplex. And now that dragon sleeper hold as well. Dragon screw there by... By AJ Styles, that's a clever move. We know that Styles likes to utilise the calf killer, which is a leg submission, but also taking Lesnar down by the legs is a is a good thing because Lesnar's strength, obviously a lot of people's strength resonates from the legs. If your leg gives way when you've got someone like Styles up on your shoulders looking for an F5, Styles, oh, man. Come on, don't embarrass yourself with that stupid line salt and completely miss. That's a bit crazy, isn't it, really, Styles? You've uh, you've let yourself down there, Styles. Went for the stomp on the back of Lesnar. Lesnar throwing Styles against the ropes and comes back into that big clothesline. And Lesnar continues onwards now on his reign of terror. That suplex, he doesn't even hook the arm for that vertical, for that suplex. Doesn't he hook the arm, just takes him straight over now. Now going for the stretch muffler. Oh, look at that. The strength of Lesnar, that stretch muffler. And again, it's a clever move by Lesnar because we know how many sort of high fast moving uh, moves that Styles likes to use. He likes to utilize springboards as well. So by taking his legs, you're really affecting Styles' aggression really. Lesnar now dragging Styles into the middle of the ring. 
looking for a T-bone, but Styles reverses into that underhook. A hip toss and a kick to the back as well. Styles bringing Lesnar back up to his feet. I thought he might have gone for a Styles clash there, but he's gone for a big jackknife powerbomb on Lesnar instead. Crazy to think that Styles just hit Lesnar with a powerbomb, isn't it really? Chop across the neck of Lesnar into a DDT. Styles dropping an elbow into the inside of the leg of Brock Lesnar. Roll him over. Oh, Lesnar back up and nice little drop toe hold there by Lesnar. But Styles fighting back as well. Big knee to the face of Lesnar now. Styles is no, uh, is no softy. He's not going to go down to the brute force style of um, Brock Lesnar. Also, Styles is a very, very resilient superstar. So he's going to have a lot more in the locker, I think. In the back of Lesnar's head into the mat. Now bringing him back up to his feet. But Lesnar playing possum, catching Styles with that big shoulder block. And so far, we've not seen... It's an interesting one. Heyman doesn't seem to get involved in these matches. Actually, he did. Why well, he, he sort of got involved in the Lesnar Goldberg match, didn't he? Where uh, where he did throw a chair into the ring, but Lesnar never got a chance to use the chair. Styles with the kick to the gut of Lesnar. Lesnar catches him with the arm drag. Now bringing Styles up into that very very loose fisherman suplex. Lesnar, I'm really enjoying Lesnar's move style. I, I just I, I enjoy a good suplex, and Lesnar just uh, just oozes suplexes everywhere, doesn't he? There's a first German. He keeps the grip and rolls the hip. And there's the third German. Styles is in big trouble here. Lesnar could get a very quick and convincing victory here. Up onto the shoulders he goes. Lesnar steadies himself and plants Styles face first. Lesnar drops into the pin. This could be a very quick match. One, two. Wow. Wow, that was incredibly quick. Lesnar just destroyed AJ Styles here. And that has just put all of our questions to bed, hasn't it, really? That was brutal by Lesnar. Really was. So that's that's the end of the video, I guess. It's a very, very short one, but But that's exactly what the game's given us. I don't wanna I don't wanna cheat and re-record it, because that's exactly what's happened. That's exactly what 2K17 believes would happen if Brock Lesnar faced off against AJ Styles. And you know what? On the run that Lesnar's been on the last couple of years, it's possible that could happen. So as I've said, this video was suggested by Random or Randome or Randome. I, I do apologize if I spelled that or if I've uh, pronounced that incorrectly. Um, of course, if anyone else does have any suggestions for random matches, please do drop them in the comment section below. I will add them all. To when yours does get pulled out, you will get a shout out in the process. Of course, if you have enjoyed this one, then please do hit that like button. It does really help me out. And of course, if you are new around here, then hit that subscribe button as well for a lot more WWE 2K17. I've been Shabby Gamer. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.